Beautiful queens, handsome king. Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. Beautiful queens and handsome kings. How y'all doing? I just got a quick message. I got a, I heard scare tactics to control you. Who trying to use scare tactics to control you? Hold on. I was going to go live, but look, I didn't feel like it. So let, 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 hold on. let's see what's going on. We're going to start with the angel card, okay? Beautiful queens and hands and kings. This is an awesome ring. So, hey, it says, back them away fear. Look, you, I always tell you, you can't make this shit up. It says, call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you. Your surroundings, this situation, and everybody involved. <laughs> tell me, you, hey, manifesting powers at the bottom. It says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. I always say, lesson for a blessing, okay? I'm telling you, scare tactics to control you. I don't know if they're trying to do it mentally, physically, <laughs> but baby, vacuum away them fears. <laughs> Tell me to get these angel cards. We're just going to take one of these. Beautiful queens and handsome Scare tactics to control you. What do we need to know about scare tactics to control you? All right, I said one, but two came out. So that hey, roots and rain. Shouldn't <laughs> rain on somebody's motherfucking parade because you rooted down. They don't know how far your roots go with them ancestors, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Look. This is why I didn't go live because I wanted to hear the music. What's Roots? Roots is authority, principle, and boss. They're going to find out that you are the authority. You do have principle, and you your own motherfucking boss, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. I don't know who these bitter bitches and bitter bums think they are, but hey, look. Roots is solidity, right? <laughs> Who are they fucking with? <laughs> they better get they stuff together. Yeah, solidity, hanging on. Yeah, I don't know who this bitter bitch or bitter bum is. Or bitter bitches and bitter bums are. But they better know that you got strong principle. You are a boss. You are the authority. But they better hope the authorities don't come get their ass. Because they can't uproot you, but they can uh Rain. Rain. A practical and focused person. Somebody's pra somebody's focused because you practical. You live you, you're healing. You're stepping into your life purpose to generate generational wealth. Somebody's so focused. What they focused on? Yeah, they focused on bringing you necessary discomfort, plan. Th that's their new beginning. They feel like if they can, somebody is focused on causing you a, to feel scared. That's their new tactic. Because, see, you ain't scared no more as you've been healing. So they focused on it for a new beginning. For a new beginning. Uh, man, I don't know who these, who this Bitter bitch or bitter bomb is, or these bitter bitches or bitter bombs is. But they focus. It's a focused person. Somebody is so focused on that the way they can get a new beginning, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, is to plan you a necessary discomfort, whether it's spiritually, spiritually or physically, of making you using scary tactics for them to have a new beginning. Scare tactics to control. My beautiful point to hand. Scare tactics to control you. Scare tactics to control you. Let's see who, who's, look. Yeah. They want you to fear. <laughs> Scare tactics, tell me you can make, I tell y'all all the time you can't make this shit up. Death. Scare tactics. Maybe they try to cause your death spiritually or physically and it ain't happened yet. 
Maybe they feel like that new beginning is to cause you a spiritual or physical death. But they focused on it. They focused on it for themselves to have a new beginning. Look, full of falseness. So cats what? Chase away evil spirits. So check this out, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. This is somebody, cats chase away evil spirits. So whoever this bitter bitch or bitter bum or bitter bitches and bitter bums is, they act like they're light. They act like they want the people best. And they don't fuck with demons, and they are a demon. They better take heed of that message. Yeah, look, death, death. They've already stole your energy, your money, your property. And <laughs> they need to get away with it. Now, they could have stole your money, your property through a death. Somebody died and left it money and property to you, and they stole it. And, and being that you spoke about it, they're trying to use scare tactics to control you so they can keep that money or property. Or they're trying to spiritually or physically take you out because you know about the theft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. The third party was cheerful when they first took it. Yeah. Your fortune. Mm -hmm. Your fortune. <laughs> they didn't want you to know that they was really an enemy behind the tree ducking out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of these people be behind trees <laughs> of your house. Mm -hmm. Bust the move. Bust the great. I don't know why I heard that. Quiet storm came up. Mm -mm. Scare tactics to control you. Scare tactics to control you. Yeah, look, pouch, pouch. Now, I don't know what's in this person's pouch, whether it's a knife, a gun, poison, <laughs> money. Maybe they have a pouch because they're finna be on the run. Cause she... <laughs> scare tactics to control you. Maybe they scared what you got in your pouch. <laughs> yeah, parchment, look. They're trying to give scare tactics to control you because they know there is duplicates. There is paperwork to prove that they <laughs> stole your fortune. Again. So again, they trying to either spiritually or physically take you out or they took it from somebody that they, they don't want it out. That somebody that passed left you fortune and they stole it. <laughs> and they was always an enemy leaking behind a tree. So somehow somebody thought they could uproot you <laughs> and rain on your parade, but they're going to find out they rained on their own. Yeah, healing kit. They, didn't I say at the beginning somebody couldn't handle that you healing? A lesson for a blessing. As you heal, they lose losing complete power. And now, not only are they losing complete power, it's Proving you know what you talk about. <laughs> Let me get one more. Scare tactics to control you. Mm. Yeah. Didn't I say somebody? Look, enemy. Somebody was an enemy. <laughs> always lurking. Family, lover, friend, business, all together. They was always an enemy lurking behind the motherfucking tree. Acting like they was somebody that they motherfucking wasn't. They could even be masking. <laughs> That they really be behind trees in your house, in your home. You take your story for what it is or what it don't. Don't be trying to put be. I always say, don't try to put your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Everybody's story is different. <laughs> take what belongs to you, what don't. If none of this go with your story, don't add it. Don't add it. I'm not gonna take these that fell on the floor, but it says marbles and blanket. So know whoever it is, bitter bitch or bitter bum or bitter bitches and bitter bums is. They've already lost their marbles. They cuckoo, cuckoo, and they they know they made their bed and they gotta lay in it. So they trying to do something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of these people are really trying to harm you though. Look, that was at the top. Some of these people have tried. Even if they haven't, they want you to think they spiritually or physically try to. 
set you up. But know that some of these people have really tried to, really. Really, let's get an animal card. <laughs> no keto, no Tucker Bell. <laughs> no keto, no Tucker Bell. It says, what I like about you, you remain young at heart. Uh-huh. Chihuahua. So tell this bitter bitch or bitter bum why they trying to act like they this big old dog. They ain't nothing but a little chihuahua. They're ankle biter. Who the fuck's scared of an ankle biter? All ankle biters just do what? It's bark. This person barking a whole bunch of bullshit. They was barking a whole bunch of bullshit to smear your name. When acting like the victim when they was victimizing you. So now I swear no keto, no Taco Bell. Tell them Taco Bell make you shit. Tell them quit shitting on they self. They shitting in their own motherfucking backyard. Tell them cut it out. Cut the fuck it out. Ain't nobody scared of no fucking ankle biter. Tell them run up, get done up. They go, you gonna sh treat they ass like look like a little football. And kick they ass across that motherfucking yard when they you see them in your backyard or they y'all, some of these people know that they might try to I see this house. Know some of these Bitter bitches or bitter bums that's going to try to use scare tactics. They might try to come to your house. At, it says we've seen a falseness, right? As loving, they sorry, they didn't know, they want to fix the relationship. Again, whether it's love or family, friend or business, to get you in this situation. Some of these people can't even live in your house. Shit, let's keep it real. What's crazy is I didn't even know a chihuahua was a totem. So look, it says love to tackle big projects and they get... Job done, big or small. <laughs> what does a child? Hey, Chihuahua symbolize grateful and balanced. Dog has charm and loyalty attitude. So no, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, you can't make this up. No keto, no Taco Bell. There is no day. Somebody, somebody is a Taco Bell out there. They're acting like they serve authentic ass. Mexican food, and it's just franchise. I don't know. Tell them, I don't know who the fuck this is, but tell them you know the difference between a real Mexican taco, and then a Taco Bell taco. This ain't no steak, onion, cilantro, with lime on the side. Who the hell they think they is? It ain't even an authentic shell. Cut it out. Cut it out. Some green sauce, maybe red sauce. Red sauce too hot. But, hey. I don't know who this is, my beautiful queens and handsome queens. Y'all got an ankle biter. And then remember when I said loyalty and security. Guess what? Didn't I say, be careful. Somebody might show up to your house, whether it's a lover, family, friend, or business partner that's acting like they miss you. They have loyalty to you. They might even act like they want to be your security, whether it's trying to tell you half truth about what's going on to get themselves out of the situation or act like they didn't know what was going on. Mm. Cause they see a healing kit. They know they can't mask. They know somebody knows. I heard. I seen a letter earlier too. Somebody knows. There's evidence against them, trying to harm you, or steal from you, or both. Yeah. Chihuahua. Nikita not a I don't know what. Mhm. Mm Reminder. Always follow your heart. Chihuahua. I told him also is says follow your heart. Stay true to the one's deep inner knowing and stand true on one's path. Oh, okay. So don't let this person take you off your path because the person that's trying to take you off your path. Now, the scare tactic could be, too, that they're acting like they're loyal to you, but, oh, I heard such and such was going to do something to you. you take, take what belongs to you, what don't. Ambition. What inspires me and you? Ambition. Ambitious. Somebody, hey, your ambition and your, you being ambitious to heal, to heal, lesson for a blessing. Your ambition to step in your life purpose, whether you knew or not. Got somebody realizing that they're just a chihuahua. Just a story. They're not no massive. 
They're not a German Shepherd. They're not a pit. Like they was out there, out there acting like, no, they're not. They're just a little ankle biter. Ankle biter. Somebody that was trying to ankle bite. Yeah, mm-hmm. Your little enemy <laughs> knows that you know. They're just, hey, all little dogs do is bark. Bark, bark. Wait, 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 wait. This motherfucker barked a whole bunch of bullshit, a whole bunch of lies against you. And then they bark, ah, little man. Hey, I don't know why my guy just said little man syndrome. Now, this person could be tall or short, but Chihuahua's little, right? This person walks around with little man syndrome. Little man syndrome is people that short <laughs> that think they tough, okay? Mm-hmm. Chihuahua, no kingdom, no taco bear. Yeah, fair. Mm-hmm. Fairness and fear. Look. Fairness and fear. Fairness. They didn't give you fairness, but now they want to come back and act like they fair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Woodpecker. You always manage to break through where others would have. Mm -mm. Look, they know you're a woodpecker. They know you're able to break through when others would have quit my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Tell me you can, you can make this shit up. Ambitious. Healing kid. Healing kid. You was ambitious. <laughs> you know it's a lesson for a blessing. You, you, We all learned. I, you know you need to mind using herself. That it wasn't about proving what I knew. It was healing from what I knew. Because if raw God, whatever high sources believe in, told you. What you knew, we had to believe God would also prove what we knew. God wanted us to heal, to step in our life. Purpose, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, parchment. Parchment is what? That piece of paper that's behind any legal document, your checkbook, credit cards. There is legal debt. I said legal decimals. Ooh, somebody messed up in the decimal money. There are legal documents of copies, and, and, and your enemy knows it. And they thought they was going to be able to root you. Now, again, this person could have already tried these scare tactics to control you, and now they're seeing that <laughs> they just an ankle biter, <laughs> and your ambition, and, and you're really ambitious about healing and stepping into your life purpose, that they just made a fool of themselves while they was trying to steal from you and harm you. Or know that this bitter bitch or bitter bum trying to put it in your mind that <laughs> they will harm you because you won't shut up. Get the fuck out of here. Run up and get, I don't know why I keep, yeah, let me take a couple of these. I swear I don't want to make this too, because, <laughs> look, it was upside down, so guess what? Your hope, they was hoping everything stayed in the motherfucking dark. They was hoping that they scare tactics of you being by yourself and not having a lover or a family or friend or they was your fake ass karmic soulmate or twin flame that you would keep on chasing them. They was hoping that you would never heal if it was family or friends that they could keep on trauma bonding you and loving bonding you and shit stayed in dark. <laughs> mm -hmm. But your healing bring, bringing all that honesty out on their ass and proving, guess what? Yeah, look. Less. No, that some of these people less. Less. Less got some of these people in the situations. Some of these lovers and friends and family members that teamed up with other people or business got into it through less. Through less. Whether it was sleeping with, a, with your lover, whether it was sleeping with a family member or friend or business people. Less, yeah. <laughs> but guess what? As they was less and they also, as, like they was hoping... Did they could keep on masking that they was your enemy and they stole your energy, your fortune, <laughs> and they was in the third party cheering up against you, <laughs> trying to physically or spiritually or both <laughs> cause you death or stole from Somebody that passed and left you something, or both, you know, take what you want. <laughs> they don't want the honest, honest situation to really come out. They want the mask to keep on coming up. They want the mask. Some of these people might be a drunk, too. Be careful, be careful with me. Look, 
shit. Reminder came out, so I'm telling you, look. Reminder, don't forget. The same for everybody, but this is for some people. When that lover, family, friend, or business, when that business person try to offer you a deal, when that lover, friend, or family member try to come back, don't forget what you already learned. Now, I can't, hey, I don't tell nobody, hey, what to do. You do what you want to do. We all on different journeys. All I'm saying is don't forget what I already lesson you already learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. They've already had you in a complicated situation before. So, if you, hey, if you don't think... <laughs> That the only reason why they coming back is because the scare tactics didn't work. <laughs> and now what was complicated for you and they thought the scare tactics to control you ain't working no more. Or they think they can get close to you to, call, to mass. They going to cause you scare tactics. It's up to you. But remember, this person was hoping that they could keep it in the dark. That they were your enemy and they stole from you. Mm -hmm. Fragment. <laughs> Somebody, hey, they wanted the world to see, thinking that it was just a fragment of your imagination. That they was really the victim, even though they was victimizing you. They, they wanted you to believe it was a fragment of your imagination, that they was ever your enemy. And they your security. They want the best for you. They want to be able, they want you to, you and the world to believe that <laughs> they weren't masking that they was an enemy to you. They weren't masking that they was stealing your fortune, <laughs> a theft, <laughs> stealing your fortune from from a death, or a, better yet, they, look, we got caltrops. This is what? Color traps are deadly and effective. That they was even trying to cause you spiritually or physically death. No, they don't, they don't want that. They don't, they don't want that out. They don't want that out. They want the differences to keep on. Y'all know the difference in car for me? Look, green, green, they want the differences. You remember when we grew up that they lied to us and told us black cats were bad luck and actually they were good luck? They want the world to still believe that you're bad luck. And their eyes are not green with envy against you. I said one more, but then, baby, I know why I do. They don't want the world to know all the deceitful things they have done to you and lied about on you. <laughs> Anything else I need to talk about? Hmm. <laughs> I tired, boss. I tired. I tired. I tired. They never thought you was gonna put up that wall, but better yet, you putting up that wall. Okay, they they y'all. Hey, if they if it was lover, friends, or family, yeah, some of y'all might have put up a wall to this person before, but you always let them love bomb you and trauma bond you uh, to knock that wall down. They was never banking on your ancestors, gods, God. To put a circle of protection against you. To keep that wall up. <laughs> for them not to be able to love bond you. Trouble bond you no more. And for for you to heal. Mm -hmm. Look. Because they know you healing brings this situation to a completion. And they weren't ready for that. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. They ain't ready for the world to know. They was in the third party over trying to stand over you. Throwing stones and hiding their hands. They, they ain't ready for that. They're not ready for that. They do not want the world to know they were trying to possess your energy and hide your fortune. Because they wanted it for themselves. Because they're an enemy. They are a pirate. They're a thief. They're a merchant. Mm -hmm. They don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want it. I know. Look. But you walking away emotionally, physically, and financially... You walking away emotionally. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get better about this, but I don't go by no form because I just go by with my guy. You walking away emotionally, physically, and financially is showing the world that they're just ankle biters. They bark all the fucking time. They no keto, no Taco Bell. They a franchise that promotes. They sell Mexican food, but it ain't authentic. And shit authentic about these people. Or person. Yeah. And when they thought 
they was going <laughs> to physically or spiritually put you to death. They was going to have new beginnings on you. <laughs> they never thought in the world you healing would bring you new beginnings <laughs> and that you would heal enough and what <laughs> you to heal new beginnings to heal to back away all fears. Because <laughs> remember, scare tactics, scare tactics. So everything was just a game for them to win. Lover, family, friends, or business, or all these people working together. Mm, 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 that was too many. Anything else? My people come to hand. Be careful, be careful, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of these people thought they was going to decay you. If, if they sold your property and money, that thought that they thought that since they couldn't get away with uh, backstabbing you, they was going to spiritually and physically take you out too <laughs> and make money off you too. Oh, I just heard that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because somebody wanted their secrets to stay secrets. How dare you have intuition about their illusions, but they was willing to do anything for the world not to know that the, about the illusions. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Anything. Look at the bottom. Win at all costs. Win at all costs. Didn't I say love bomb, trauma bomb? They forgot the ace of cups also. What? Cup of intuition. They never they wasn't expecting you to use that that cup instead of letting them overflow you with fake ass emotions anymore, but intuition that you could see right through they bitter bitch or bitter bum ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they thought you was gonna be crying over spilled milk. They thought you was gonna be crying over spilled milk. And if you was crying over spilled milk, look at that fish down there. They could come back or send someone. To put poison in your cup. And then you was going to be what? That fish. Fighting for oxygen. <laughs> but now they see they in spiritual jail or real jail. Not some of these people going to real jail. I don't know who the fuck did that hit. But check this out. I'm not even going to go in that energy. We're we'll going to tomorrow. They should have avoided this conflict. Sting, baby. Sting. They, 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 sting. they should have avoided this conflict because guess what? You are not in mental conflict. So they can cut out, they can stop all that little scare tactics all they want because all that scare tactic did, what goes around comes around. Now they scared. 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 Because they, <laughs> they know. <laughs> One, <laughs> there's evidence. I heard even spiritually. This, 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 I heard there's even spiritual evidence. Not only is there evidence of them stealing your money and your property, there is spiritual evidence of them paying others to try to do death rituals. Or, again, I'm not going to go into that. We'll, we'll do a clue tomorrow. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah, no. Know that you got no keto, no Taco Bells trying to prevent from going to physical jail.